So good morning, welcome everyone. Um, I hope you're having a wonderful uh, discover here in Barcelona. Uh, in the next few minutes, we will uh, cover HPE GreenLake platform. I'm sure you heard this for maybe over 1,000 times in the last two days. So you will know more about the platform and its capabilities and what we are offering. And we'll also have a couple of customers and I'll keep the uh, secret a little bit who those customers are. And they'll be coming on stage to share uh, their insights. And we will also have a demo uh, so you can see the platform capabilities. Okay, with that, let's get started. So um, you heard a lot uh, yesterday from our keynotes yesterday and today as well. Uh, the enterprises are edge, um, you know, edge-centric, cloud-enabled, and data-driven. Everybody want to make use of the data that is getting generated in their enterprise. And you all know that a lot of data gets generated at the edge locations, and how to bring it all together, how to derive the insights out of that, so you can make your products and services better and delight your customers. This is where HPE is going to help you transform your IT with our HPE GreenLake platform. So um, we'll take an example of a customer. In today's session, we'll look at specifically the hybrid cloud area. You know, we talked about edge, hybrid cloud, AI. And today, we will talk about hybrid cloud. And we'll take an example of a customer and their specific uh, you know, environment to see how some of the services from the platform can be applied in that uh, situation. So here is an example customer that is already using the platform. It's a global company. It's a retail company with 100,000 employees um, and 1,000 locations worldwide. 500 applications for their own internal employees, customers, and partners and resellers. Uh, and 100 of those applications are running in two different public clouds, and 400 of them are on on-prem. Uh, and they also have 100,000 APs deployed in their branch and uh, storefront locations. 2,000 switches, 10,000 servers. So you can imagine this is a very distributed and a complex environment. So in the next few minutes, we look at how the platform services are able to help this customer bring it all together, how they can optimize their IT operations in this hybrid cloud. As an outcome, the customers are looking for uh, complete visibility. So you have seen in the previous diagram how the distributed environment, you know, the switches and the servers, and they want to know where they're running what infrastructure. So having complete visibility is a key requirement from these customers. Having unified cloud experience with the self-serve capabilities and also paper use economics. You know, from the public cloud providers, we have learned that the paper use economics come handy, especially in this environment where the IT budgets are getting thin and thin day by day. So then comes in this distributed environment, how to achieve workflow automation, how to build in such a way that you can deploy and also keep everything up to date in an automated fashion from a centralized location. And fourth uh, one is extensibility. We all want, in an IT environment, we want to connect our systems to, for example, like a ticketing environment or a SIM and so on. So extensibility is key as well. With APIs, we'll be able to provide that extensibility and allow you to integrate with other solutions. So you can complete your, uh, you know, what, whatever outcomes you're looking for. So this is the desired outcome. I'm sure you have seen this slide maybe 1,000 times or 10,000 times by now. But this is a baseline to show 
that the GreenLake platform is open, highly available, it is secure, and it offers services for, for networking, storage, compute, workload orchestration, and also some of the value-added services. These things can be consumed by yourself directly, or you can work through a partner, and the partner can offer as well. So this is the, the foundation, and the way you access it, all of these services, is through one single console. Again, you, know, you might have seen on the show floor and in the two keynotes, uh, this hybrid cloud console, uh, the hybrid for, for uh, the GreenLake platform console, where all the services reside. And you can see some examples that you have seen in the previous keynote, like OpsRAM, Sustainability Insight Center, Private Cloud, and so on. So all of these can be accessed from one single place. So let's double click on a couple of services. Private Cloud Business Edition. This is available for you so that you can manage your VMs, whether it is on-prem or in public clouds. And it could be AWS, it could be Azure, and with a one-stop VM management, you achieve uh, you know, efficiencies. And by the way, it is also integrated with backup and recovery. So I think this is where, again, look from the backdrop of the customer example that we looked at, 1,000 locations, huge amount of infrastructure. So when you have this capability, the self-serve automated capability, you can easily manage your VMs and the, throughout the life cycle, of course, at all locations with ease. So in a, in a hybrid environment again. So going to the next service, HPE GreenLake Backup and Recovery. This is another important service that customers are looking at, which provides uh, ability to uh, you know, uh, have the snapshots and recover quickly, whether it is VMs or Microsoft SQL databases, you name it. You can recover these within seconds to minutes. So this, again, is a service available on the platform. You can use this independently, or it is also integrated with the private cloud business edition. Now, now that you deployed your private cloud, backup and recovery, and of course, there are also the networks, networking services and the compute services, you would want to manage this. You want to understand what kind of events are happening, what alerts are coming through. So for that, we have OpsRamp-based ITOM solution. This one is for, again, your entire hybrid cloud estate, where you can look at the alerts coming from multi-vendor estate and a multi-cloud environment, and derive the cream of cream alerts, basically remove the noise and look at the important alerts and take an action on, on those alerts. And the way you do the action is um, OpsRAM has AI ops capabilities and automation capabilities, which both can be combined to remediate some of the alerts that you need to take action on. So this, again, uh, is a multi-vendor and a multi-cloud uh, capable product, and it's there on the platform. So now you're able to efficiently operate your environment from edge to data center to cloud. With that, um, if you look at other value-added services, so infrastructure, you took care of it. You're able to operate the infrastructure. Now you want to understand the cost analytics, or you want to understand the sustainability footprint. You know, sustainability, as you all know, is a boardroom conversation, right? Security and sustainability are key conversations that happen at boardroom. And I'm sure your CEO or CIO may be asking, hey, can you provide a sustainability report for all the data centers that we are running? So you can use the Sustainability Insight Center to provide that sort of a report uh, for not only the HPE infrastructure, 
but also a multi-vendor, multi-cloud infrastructure. So in essence, the GreenLake cloud platform is providing you the services that are required for your infrastructure, operations, as well as the value-added services that can provide against the hybrid cloud um, footprint that you have, the value that you need, instead of you going and building those services, you can leverage it from the platform. These services, again, if you look at from a public cloud point of view, they do offer some of these, but they offer the services for the specific public cloud. You want something that works for your on-prem infrastructure and public cloud in a multi-vendor estate, and that is what we are solving on the GreenLake platform. So in essence, the, the values that the platform offers is ability to look at or provide that visibility across a multi-vendor, uh, multi-cloud estate, complete visibility, and it's a multi-tenant system. Like I mentioned, the platform is being used by a lot of customers as well as partners. Many MSP partners are offering services using the platform as well. And providing that unified experience, the self-serve capabilities, automation, consistently across all of the services. You know, when I talk to some of the MSPs, they say that coming to one place to create that automation, to have their folks learn the system once, but then they are able to offer more and more services to their end customers is an extremely important value. So they really love that aspect about the platform. Then it is also AI ops powered, so you are able to uh, look at your system, monitor and uh, discover and manage your system effectively, operate your system effectively. It is API driven, so you can add extensions. You know, you, you want your systems to connect to uh, other things like ticketing and SIM and, you know, to, for your SOC reasons and so on. So all of that is possible with the GreenLake platform. So if you put it all together, again, going back to that complex environment and the customer use case we looked at, putting it all together, using the GreenLake platform, the customers can get complete visibility and efficient operations across their global footprint. And you can see some of the services that they are using. Typically, when we talk to customers, they look at one service, and then they get excited that they can use multiple of them on the platform. Because going to one single place for identity access management, for having that security and compliance is a huge benefit. So they are looking at it in a holistic fashion, and that is why I don't know how many of you were in the keynote this morning, uh, we talked about a hybrid operation software suite that got released, right, today? You, you heard that. So that suite has all the key ingredients that are required to maintain your uh, hybrid cloud environment. So with that, uh, let me tell you the momentum that we are having with the GreenLake platform. This is as per our Q3 um, financial year uh, earnings. We have 27,000 customers. I know there is an updated number, and we couldn't update on the slide yet, but 27,000 uh, customers, 3.4 million devices, and HPE GreenLake platform has 1,100-plus partners who are uh, transacting uh, GreenLake. So this is a huge momentum since the time we announced this platform, and we are very, very happy that many of you are using it. If you're not using it yet, you can always go to common.cloud.hpe, create an account. It's free. The platform is free, and create an account and play with it, and so you will be able to see all of the capabilities there as well. So, you know, you heard a lot about uh, the platform. I think it will be good to uh, invite our customers so you can hear from them 
uh, you know, how they are using the platform uh, from, from their IT perspective. So first, please help me welcome Yarun Noyce uh, to the stage so he can share his perspective from ING. Yarun, welcome. I think I butchered your last name. It's Naus, right? <laughs> yes. But it's, uh, Welcome. Thank you. So, Yaron, so you are from ING, yes. and ING is a, uh, you know, has operations worldwide, and it's a banking financial services company. Tell us a little bit about ING and yourself. Yeah. Uh, ING is a global bank, um, but we are very strong. We have a strong base in Europe. Um, we have 60,000 employees. They are servicing our customers in the wholesale and the retail banking in around 40 countries. In the retail, we do the mortgages, we do savings, um, that kind of services. And for wholesale, we do the lending services, trade and treasury services, and um, financial, um, uh, sorry, sustainable financials. We do that there as well. Um, my own role, I'm the product owner in the network, in the, in the office network. So, I, we are trying to connect all the dots, all the ING dots together, right? Um, and we're trying to push forward, I'm trying to push forward our uh, Wi-Fi only for end users ambition. Uh, so everyone has the same experience, every colleague, right? Because uh, our colleagues, our, our, uh, the colleagues are our uh, consumers, our customers. Excellent. So um, maybe, you know, if you could describe your IT environment and what problems you're solving for your uh, consumers. Yes. Um, we're using Aruba Central, mm -hmm. and um, we did an RFP some years ago, and we decided to uh, go forward with Aruba Central with uh, AOS, AOS 10, the CX platform, and we manage it for all entities now there. Um, we deployed it in the Netherlands. We, in the Netherlands, we have around 15 main offices and 60 branches, but in the meanwhile, we deployed it as well in Poland, in the US, in the France offices of ING, and we are preparing uh, migrations for next year, and one of them is most probably the offices, the bunch of offices we have here in Spain. So that's your current environment? That is the right. current environment, right? Excellent. And we're trying to, to standardize it as much as, much as possible. So we have two topology models. Mm -hmm. we, there is almost no difference between them. The only difference is the redundancy. So some offices will have a redundant n network, some don't. Mm -hmm. But further on, it is the same. It has the same configuration, the same hardware, the same firmware. Mm. Yes. So it's very standardized, which brings us a very efficient network. Mm. Mm. So, so maybe you know um, if you can share when you started with the Green Lake Solutions and what outcomes are you able to achieve. With, uh, you know, with this complex environment that you have, which you are operating, mm -hmm. what outcomes are you able to achieve with the platform? As a bank, we need to be compliant, right? We have a lot of regulations where we need to comply to from the governments, different governments, because we are in different countries, but as well from the European Central Bank. So for us, that is important. So that is taken from us uh, by design. So by design, we deploy a compliant network to all the entities. And by doing that, we take a lot of work from, from our colleagues in the, in the world away because it's, it's complying by design. So they do not have to take measures and to provide evidence to their regulators how it complies to the, the regulations we need to comply to. So basically, so, by having this capability to centra centrally manage everything is yes. giving you that compliance. Exactly. Uh, and we can use... While, while we use Aruba Central, which is now incorporated in the Green Lake, of course, we can use the benefits of uh, Green Lake as well. For example, um, single sign-on, that is yeah. important for us, because right, you need to be sure that there are the right people which can enter your environments. On the other hand, segregation of duties and role-based access is very important as well, because users, so most of them the admin users or consumers in the countries, they need to see the right things and should not be able to do the things they are not allowed to do. So that's important for us as a bank. Yes, right? yes, absolutely. I hear that all the time, 
the you know compliance aspect. Yes, exactly. Uh, so you know now that you're already using all of the capabilities of Aruba Central on the Green Lake platform, mm -hmm. what next? What other features are you looking to uh, use in the future? We will use more and more uh, API capabilities, right? Mm -hmm. We're trying to push forward um, to deliver uh, uh, to deliver it automated as much as possible. First for ourselves, but we're trying to move that towards our consumers so that they can use the API capabilities. They do not know they're using it because we provide them a kind of self-service portal, for example, to, to extend the stacks they are, they are having or request, require, uh, request new services from us. And by having self-service portals for them, using the APIs in the back end towards uh, GreenLake and Central, we can optimize it for them as well. Yeah, so that's that's great. I think we are we are uh, in alignment there because we are producing yes, we are. a lot of APIs on the platform in a consistent manner for all of the services, not just Aruba Central, but mm -hmm. for uh, backup and recovery, compute ops management, you name it. You know, having that consistent API uh, model will really help with your automation. Absolutely. Thinking about so um, so. You know, thank you. Thank you for using HPE and realizing the benefit of the platform. And uh, I hope we will be able to provide more and more solutions to you uh, by innovating on the platform and help you uh, with your uh, IT transformation. Okay. Yeah? Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Yaron. <laughs> so you just heard from ING how they are leveraging the platform. You know, partners are an important component of our business, right? Partners allow us to expand our business and expand our reach and go to more and more customers. So with that, let's uh, welcome Bert Jensering uh, from Venzo, who can share about their experience of the HPE GreenLake platform. Welcome, Bert. Yeah, thank you, Lata. So Bert, if you could uh, please share about Venzo and uh, what do you do at Venzo and how you're uh, using our platform. Yeah, let's, uh, let me try. Uh, Venzo is an MSP partner uh, situated in the Netherlands. And uh, yeah, we have focus on uh, retail, hospitality, uh, education and healthcare. That's where most of our customers are in there. We're an Aruba Platinum partner for over 10 years uh, at this moment. And uh, I'm the technical director at Venzo. And I focus on the business development, uh, new techniques coming on the market and how to implement them and uh, have a strategic vision for us as well. So uh, on that part. Excellent. So, um, you know, I know you are, you have a long history with Aruba. You've been using Aruba for a long time. And uh, give, give our audience a view of your MSP business. You know, many times I get these questions, how can I use the platform from an MSP perspective? So it'll yeah. be really interesting to understand how you grew your MSP business using uh, Aruba Central, which is there on the platform today. Yeah, correct. Well, uh, in, I think around 2009, we were still a startup. I, I even uh, we started in a garage uh, somewhere at the back of uh, the parents. It's the, the old story. And uh, in 2009, we started at Wi-Fi as a service. And the technique was not quite ready at that moment, but we saw a vision from this might be the future. And uh, we uh, started developing uh, on that, that moment. And nowadays, we have um, yeah, developed it towards secure network as a service, which is we deliver uh, for customers within the Netherlands and even a little bit abroad or uh, within Europe. Um, it's fully managed, can be co-managed. We have a pay-per-use model. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have different kind of models. Uh, depends a bit on the customer and which market we operate in. And um, uh, yeah, on the back, uh, back end on our side, we have like building blocks uh, where we can make a, a tailor-made solution, but it are each time the same uh, building blocks for us. Um, so we have a price per st a student or a price per square meter, we can fit it in any uh, business model which suits the customer best. So that uh, really helps us as an MSP. And um, yeah, we do a lot of as a service. I think 60 or 70% of our revenue is as a service. And um, yeah. I, I, I really liked when you explained you know, how you charge based on a square meter. Yeah. Uh, you know, for the a 
access points that you use in these events, right? Event halls and so on. Yeah. How you, you the business models are very interesting. The way you developed per student pricing or per square yeah. meter pricing. So that's that's great to know how you're uh, creating some new business models there. So give us the type of customers that you serve. Um, you know, uh, I remember you mentioned uh, anywhere from. Uh, food giants to food franchise franchises to students and universities and so on. So tell us more about the customers and the challenges they face. Yeah. How you're solving. Well, uh, the, the, the customers, well, McDonald's, I think is for familiar for every one of us, uh, but we deliver a network as a service solution there. Uh, uh, inside and outside of a complete solution. Uh, so that's more than 250 restaurants in the Netherlands. We have uh, the student hotel, which is... Uh, roughly 25 locations situated all over Europe. Uh, as a customer of us, we have the, um, uh, the SURF, uh, which is a cooperation of educational institutes uh, in the Netherlands, and we deliver there uh, the Wi-Fi as a service uh, solution. And we have, uh, yeah, for example, Jaarbeurs, which is an exhibition hall, the largest, I think, in the Netherlands. And yeah, we have the complete secure network as a service solution uh, offered there. Is that our, yeah, some of our customers? Mm -hmm. We have more, but uh, to give some example. And um, yeah, you were mentioning what, what challenges do they have or what do they see? And I think uh, there are roughly, I think, three challenges. Um, one of them is um, that we see with the customers, they have to do uh, more things with less people. And if networking is not one of your core businesses, it's difficult to uh, deploy it and it's difficult to maintain it. And our vision, it should be something like water out of the crane. It, it, it should work and you should not think about it. That's uh, something uh, we can take care of for our customers. Mm -hmm. I think that's a really uh, benefit of having an MSP partner. Um, another um, a challenge, I mentioned Jabers, which is the exhibition hall, yeah. um, that they bring in different kinds of solutions, which can also be provided over the same network. And an uh, example from Jabers is they had 600 Bluetooth big, uh, beacons within their company. They have to maintain it, uh, change the batteries each year. And with replacing with uh, Aruba, the central, and with the access point, they could re get rid of all the beacons. And that saved them a lot of money and a lot of time on a daily basis. So that's uh, uh, one of the benefits of having one solution like HP GreenLake for uh, the complete customer. And I think the third one is the, uh, Jeroen mentioned already a little bit, the regulations. And it can be on security side, but it can also be on the, yeah, the carbon footprint, which we uh, uh, want to measure. Uh, so it can be also on the energy consumption side. And yeah, you can measure that. Uh, I think you need IoT to do that. Yeah. And IoT is hitting your network, so how do we deal with it? And uh, yeah, you better do that good and prepare that. And as MSP, we can play a role in that. Yes. So as an MSP, I think for you, managing these multiple tenants and operating all of these tenants at, at scale in a centralized fashion and with the, you know, some of the security compliance requirements uh, that you need to meet is important, right? Yeah. So uh, I'm glad that you are able to use the platform capabilities in this fashion. So, so tell me how you're going to use it in future. What are, what are your plans? Right. How do you want to unleash some of the other capabilities on the platform? Uh, yeah, well, HP GreenLake is helping us a lot. I, I see it as a sort of Swiss army knife. Uh, uh, we can manage multiple locations from, uh, from different customers. We can compare if they all have the same uh, quality delivered, or if it's not, what's the, where is the angle? How can we tweak that to uh, get it up on the, on the same level? Um, it helps us in starting small and growing big. We can start with Wi-Fi as a service and close slowly by slowly toward a secure network as a service. Uh, and yeah, at last, uh, uh, also the, the energy consumption, which you, we can measure the, the amount of energy used by the access point and the, and the, and the switches. That really helps us a lot uh, and also our customers. That's excellent. So thank you. Thank you for sharing uh, your insights. And uh, we look forward to growing your MSP business, and let's create that momentum. Uh, yep. So thank you. Thank you, Britt. OK. Thank you, Lata. So you heard from uh, Yaroon and Bert how they're using the GreenLake platform. One is a case of a uh, direct customer. Another is an MSP. 
So you, you know that MSPs require a very different set of requirements, and we have those on the platform. So uh, let's take a look at more of the platform capabilities through a demo. So let me welcome Vincent and Dawn to the stage so they can walk you through the platform capabilities uh, using a demo. So Vincent, Dawn, take it away. Thank you. Good morning, Dawn. Morning. So thank you for leading our IT modernization project last year. Well, I have something new for you, and that will need your expertise. We want to provide our developer a self-service portal using the device that we procured last year in this project. I want to give them a cloud-native experience with the security and the cost management we desire. So let's get started. Let's right. look at our hardware assessment, shall we? Absolutely. So uh, do you have the Excel updated with all our new networking compute and storage hardware? Fortunately for me, we don't have to use Microsoft Excel anymore. Uh, what we have here, so when we did that IT modernization project, if you remember, we adopted the HPE GreenLake Edge to Cloud platform. That's what I'm showing you here. I'm logged into our workspace uh, online. And instead of a spreadsheet, I can go straight into the device inventory. So as you asked about our, our networking, our compute, and our storage, we have all of that inventory here, along with the service managers that we're using to manage that hardware. We can also see the locations where we've deployed the services, and we have access to our subscriptions as well, all in one single pane of glass. Wow. All the device management capability right on the platform. No more Excel and no more manual update. I think uh, that deserves a round of applause. Round of applause. Right? No one like Excel, right? Down with Excel. So now we have our up-to-date SS information. Let's look at the self-service portal. Now, our developers, they want agility. And we want a secure and scalable environment with global visibility. Can we have both? We can have both, and again, we're uh, benefiting from a service here in our data services manager on the platform. Um, the service that we're using is called HPE GreenLake for Private Cloud Business Edition. So I'm going to launch that here, and you can see the, the simple templates and wizarding uh, infrastructure that this service provides allowed our developers to be very agile and spin up 32 private cloud uh, virtual machines right away on the hardware, that same hardware that we were looking at in the device inventory. So on-premise, uh, private cloud, and they're also able to uh, connect up and spin up uh, virtual machines in their public cloud as well. So from this service, they also have these tools in this dashboard. You can see a systems utilization heat map, so they can hmm. figure out are they uh, utilizing CPU and memory optimally or over, over, uh, oversubscribing the hardware. You have a capacity, uh, a little bit of a consumption uh, analytics here on a per VM basis here, so you can see how much have we allocated to the VM? How much are we using? We can look at the performance of the VMs. So a lot of uh, tools to keep them agile. Fantastic. A cloud-like experience for all our on-prem resources. Now, Don, our BC season is coming, and we cannot afford any system downtime. Can the platform provide us high availability protection like the cloud? Yeah, absolutely. So we have a, a real toolbox here, a suite of tools uh, in this data services cloud console. Uh, so for high availability of our virtual machines, we can use HP GreenLake for disaster recovery. So I'm going to launch into that service. And what you see here is uh, we can create protection groups for our virtual machine appliances uh, in multiple sites and synchronize those on a very tight uh, schedule. So I can go into my on-premise uh, VMAs, and you can see that I've created two mm. sites. They're connected together. And the disaster recovery service uh, uses a journaling system that allows us to stay very tightly coupled, like I said. So what this really ends up meaning is if there is a site disaster, we can not only recover quickly, but we can recover to uh, a recovery point that's very close to when the disaster happens. So that's, that's critical. Nice. What about our routine backup? Routine backups, again, integrated here. Um, I'm going back to uh, HPE GreenLake for backup and recovery. 
So you see this nice synergy, everything is uh, you know, a similar interface. Uh, you can see again, we're, we, we have many things to choose from. We, we can uh, back up to an HPE cloud protection store, so that will allow us to have offsite, long-term storage. Of course, we're backing up on-premise as well. Uh, and again, we're connected to our public cloud for a backup option is there as well. Super cool. Now I, and hopefully you, Don, can sleep better knowing that we have site-to-site -site disaster recovery and our local and remote backup to HPE uh, cloud storage using the platform. But Don, we have a heterogeneous IT environment. And I'm sure this project will require us to use other vendor resources. Do I need to get a new platform or a new tool? You know, I, I was concerned about that as well. But again, uh, the platform saves the day. We have an integration with uh, HPE's OpsRamp service. So that is an IT operations management service directly integrated there. I'm showing you a couple of my favorite dashboards here. This, this is a highly configurable, very powerful service. Um, this dashboard uh, pie chart on the left organizes it by vendor. You can see our public cloud footprint uh, uh, right alongside all these multiple vendor uh, uh, based on the systems. We can look at it as an inventory type on the right-hand side. But you're not even seeing the power here. Behind the scenes, there's a lot going on for monitoring. What about events? Oh, well, right, so it's not, we don't have the time to go into this complex environment and, and figure it out for ourselves. So we, that is where the, the ops ramp AI operations, uh, AI ops really helps us out. You have a complex environment. You see in this alerting uh, environment here that there's a lot going on, and, and the AI ops engine is keeping track of uh, multiple repeated events, doing correlations, doing predictions, helping us to root cause and even maybe prevent things from happening or getting a lot worse. So a lot of powerful tools there. Super. What a pleasant surprise that the platform at the iTom's capability that powered by AI ops. One last thing. You and I both know our company have a sustainability initiative. Mm. We must report our data center power consumptions, and carbon emission data. Is there a simple way for us to do that? Uh -huh. You try to trip me up, but again, platform to the rescue. So HPE Sustainability Insight Center. So this is a very uh, easy to use, powerful dashboard reporting directly from our on-premise uh, hardware, our own hardware, so you can see that we've got a nice in the middle here energy consumption in kilowatt hours, which we then use to calculate our energy costs and of course our carbon footprint. Uh, we can filter on device type, and of course, I can exp uh, export a report for you to provide to whoever needs it. This is very, very nice. I'm getting really excited about this project, Don, and thank you for sharing your insights with us today. Absolutely. So as you can see, HPE GreenLake Edge to Cloud Platform is hybrid by design. For a single pane of glass, I can have global visibility of my on-prem and cloud resources. I can provide our user an agile private cloud without sacrificing security or my budget requirements. OpsRAM empowers us with IT operation management with AI ops. And here, using Sustainability Insight Center can help us to reach our sustainability goals. HPE GreenLake Edge to Cloud Platform is the right choice for our business, and I'm sure it will be for yours too. So thank you. Thank you, Vincent and Don, for that excellent demo. So I can, I can tell that you can sleep better with this platform usage, right? OK, so um, you know, as you can see, for your hybrid multi-cloud estate, the HPE GreenLake platform provides a one place for all the services, whether it is infrastructure workload services or other value-added services like the Sustainability Insight Center, consumption, and so on. So you can manage efficiently your distributed environment. You can deploy your workloads at the right place, right time, and to achieve your goals such as, you know, uh, optimizing the performance, optimizing the cost, or saving on energy, right? All of this is possible with the HPE GreenLake platform. 
So with that, I hope you found this useful, and I hope you will go create an account and uh, play with the platform. Uh, so I look forward to working with each and every one of you uh, to help you in this hybrid cloud journey. I truly believe that the platform is here to solve some of the complexities that you face in this hybrid cloud estate. And I hope uh, you will find it useful as well. If you're not using, please start using it and uh, see for yourself how you can benefit. Okay, thank you. Thank you for uh, giving that time and um, hearing about the platform.